Are you someone that has multiple amplifiers and you'd like to be able to swap back and forth between them while listening to get a good comparison or just to change the sound up a bit? Or are you someone that has multiple sets of speakers and you'd like to be able to have a switch that easily jumps back and forth between each speaker so you can, again, either change the sound or just get a comparison as to what each speaker sounds like? If so, you may be interested in the One Little Bear. It's a two-way amplifier speaker switch. I purchased this recently for some sound comparisons and thought I'd do a quick video to show you how to install this into your system and tell you a little bit about the switch and what I thought of it um, after getting it unboxed. So stay tuned and I'll flip everything around and show you how to get it connected. Okay, so first thing first, I want to point out that I went ahead and removed all the component uh, connections like CD players, turntables from either amplifier just to help clean this up a little bit because it already looks like a mess um, as you can totally imagine. Also, let me quickly explain kind of what we've got going on here now that I've turned this around. This bottom component is a Cambridge AXA 25 amplifier and then there's two CD players here so we can kind of ignore these CD players uh, for the sake of, of this. Um, and then up top here, we've got the IEMA T9 amplifier. So what I wanted to do was insert this one little bear switch in the chain um, so that I could easily jump back and forth between the Cambridge AXA uh, amplifier at the bottom and the IEMA T9 and just do a quick comparison. I have a, um, I have a video that uh, I released last week on the IEMA T9 and sort of explained this a little bit more. Um, but for the sake of anyone that might be interested in the One Little Bear switch, I thought I would just show you how I hooked it up uh, quickly because, I don't know, at first look, you know, it, was, it makes sense, but it was also a little intimidating. So I thought I'd show you how to hook it up and then, uh, you know, you guys can kind of determine of something that you'd be interested in as well. So the first thing I did was hook up my speakers and those are just traditional connections with your right, right and left. So this speaker connection um, goes directly out to my bookshelf speakers. Now you would normally do that, right, directly on either of these amplifiers, but by inserting the switch in the middle, you're, uh, you're now having the one little bear run to your speaker connections. Now the cool thing is if I wanted to have a second set of speakers, I could hook those up here, and then on the front of the unit, which I'll show you in a minute, I could switch back and forth between speaker one and speaker two and do that either just to compare the sound or do it because I want a different sound altogether. Like if maybe I had vintage speakers on one and then more modern speakers on two and or maybe I had a pair of speakers on one here that was better for jazz and two was better for rock or something and wanted to just jump back and forth, I could do that. Let me show you the first amplifier connection here. Um, so the first thing I did was I connected the Cambridge. So this is where I would normally just take my speaker wire and run directly out to my speakers. But with the amplifier and speaker switch inserted, I now run this connection to the amplifier A area on the one little bear, okay? And then I came over and on the T9, I have the speaker connections here. Again, normally if I was running directly to speakers, I would just go from here to the speakers. But I now go, I connect from the T9, connect these wires here over to B, okay? So basically what's happening is both amplifiers are now running through the one little bear, okay? And then the speaker is now going out from the one little bear. The speaker connection is now going out from this to my speakers. So that's basically how you would set it up. Let me show you a couple little things that I didn't like about the, uh, the one little bear uh, before, we, uh, before I turn it around and kind of show you how you switch back and forth. Okay, there's two things that I really did not like when I got uh, the One Little Bear in the mail, and I just ordered it from Amazon. But I want to point those out real quick because I'm not sure if the first 
I'm actually really not sure about either issue um, and if it's something that's standard or not, but I think it's worth pointing out in case you order it. First is the one little bear's power connection is right there and it's just a USB power connection. And in this instance, I have the cable running down here to the Cambridge USB input here so I could power it. So when I turn on the Cambridge, I'll show you this on when I turn it around. When I turn this on, the one little bear comes on. But this was it. This is all I got. I didn't get um, a plug to be able to plug this into the wall anywhere. And I'm not sure if that's an error or, you know, if, if I just got something incorrect, like they left it out of the box. It really didn't look like it that um, like in the box, the packaging didn't look like it actually came with a plug. So if anyone's ordered one of these and has gotten, you know, the power cord with the plug, let me know because that might have just been an error on my part. But you'll want to have, I guess, one at home that you can use in case you need. The other issue is the remote control, uh, which works fine. It's real simple. You know, I can sit at my chair and just switch back and forth between the amps and the speakers here. And then you can dim you can dim the meter lights basically on the front with these buttons, but this didn't come with a battery. And you know, it's like a CR 2025. I don't know. I sort of made that up. It's one of those just sort of like flat, large, you know, watch battery looking types. And it didn't come with it, even though the instruction said just to insert it and use it. So I think that was left out of my package too, which was kind of annoying because I had to wait a couple days to then order the battery. So now I have a ton of these batteries just for this one thing. But if you buy this, I'm not sure if that's a common issue or not, or if maybe if it was just left out of mine. But, uh, you know, something to think about um, if you're deciding to make this purchase. Let me turn it around and um, I'll kind of show you how to flip back and forth um, and, uh, and go from there. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm running the one little bear into the Cambridge for power. So in order to power it on, I have to power this on. And then the switch powers on along with it. Uh, I'll probably eventually just get a connection for that USB cable so I can run it, you know, on its own power source and not have to deal with this because it's kind of, I don't know, it's, I just would rather it not be running off the Cambridge. So as you can see here, um, it's got the one little bear has the, the nice big meters and this is, you know, it's really elementary here, like anybody could figure it out, but if you're curious, Basically, there's an amplifier button here and a speaker button here. So if I want to switch between the amps, I just go back and forth between A and B. If I have two sets of speakers hooked up and I want to go back and forth there, just one and two. And again, I think I showed earlier, but on the remote, you can dim and brighten these meter lights to go with it. So as music's playing, the, the meters are bouncing back and forth. And uh, so if you're somebody that really likes big meters and kind of wants to add some into a more modern unit, this might be something that you're interested in as well. Now, as I mentioned in my IEMA T9 review video, I listen to this, um, you know, just with each unit, with each component. And I didn't hear any impact negatively on the sound by inserting this into the chain. But I also know that this is not the most expensive unit. It's, I think I paid $170 shipped on Amazon. And, you know, uh, I can't speak to the durability of this. So over time, this may degrade some and then be an interference with the overall sound chain. That's just something I'll have to kind of keep my ears open for, you know. So if I'm ever testing gear, I will probably always do the initial test by itself connected directly to speakers and then i would do the same with the other unit right then i would run it through this switch here just to make sure you know that um, my first initial impression of the new piece of gear isn't impacted by this i think that's really the only way i could do that so anyway like i said if you're interested in having um, an amplifier switch or a speaker switch uh, you know, this is a, a, a modern day switch that you can buy uh, from uh, Duke Audio. It's, uh, like I said, it's the, the one little bear two-way amplifier uh, speaker switch. You can find these on Amazon. I ordered it, showed up in a couple days. Like I said, it was about $170 shipped. 
and uh, got it up and running. One thing to note, uh, I kind of forgot to mention on the other side, you're gonna need a lot of speaker wire. <laughs> you know, to, you know, if, if, if you just have like just a, only a couple of, uh, you know, pieces of speaker wire around, go ahead and buy you a spool because you're gonna need to basically have two more sets to be able to hook up each amplifier into the, uh, into the, the one little bear. I mean, that's kind of an obvious thing to say, but you know, it's worth noting if, if you're, uh, if you're new to having something like this in your system and, and you get it and you're all excited and you're like, oh man, I really should have also picked up some uh, speaker wire. So if you're going to order this off Amazon, perhaps maybe order a spool of wire to go with it. So you are really ready to go uh, when you get there, uh, when, it, when it arrives at your place, you're ready to plug up and play. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just hit like it gets circulated around to other people that are fans of uh of gear both modern and vintage uh vinyl records and other things appreciate your time thank you for watching